You could say all Steve Sweetman had to do was follow the tracks along the beach. This one's broken away, but you can see where it was here, and that's... And this would have been huge. It would have been huge. Probably something called Iguanodon, or something closely related to it. And it was the commonest uh, of the dinosaurs on the floodplain. 130 million years old, dinosaur footprints are common here, on what's been called the Isle of Wight's Jurassic Coast. And yes, among the fossils he's found here are remains of what you've seen in the movies. <laughs> They were called in the film Velociraptor, but they were actually a bigger representation of that animal. But the raptor I found here on the Isle of Wight was even bigger than the ones in the kitchen scene in Jurassic Park. Bigger, though, isn't Steve Sweetman's contribution to science. Most people don't associate paleontology with the work I do. In these cliffs, he's found remains of eight dinosaurs no one knew existed, along with lizards, salamanders, and at least six tiny mammals. 48 new species in all. To have found so many was just, uh, it was a yes moment. You know, it's one of those things I can't describe. Actually, it's one of those things that's hard to believe. Over four years, he's carried about three and a half tons of mud back to his farmhouse. It looks like a lawn sprinkler. That's exactly what it is. And washed and dried and sifted it into bowls of sand. Sweetman's discoveries are visible only under a microscope miniature teeth and tiny bone fragments helping him picture a new prehistoric world. I think that anything to do with the world in which the dinosaurs lived is just fascinating because they were such enigmatic and, and intriguing creatures. There's nothing alive quite like them today. A local museum gets the really big stuff he finds, not that you'd necessarily notice. This is one of the teeth of this velociraptor. In paleontology, it seems, size doesn't always matter. You cannot put a figure on the number of things that might be discovered in the course of time, but there will certainly be new discoveries. Richard Roth, CBS News, on the Isle of Wight.